murder. I'm okay. I'm okay. But that's a lot. Here, let me help you. Medical. We've got one wounded at my location. Millie. Oh, man. Hey, it's a hover thing. We'll see you at sick bay. She's gonna be fine. She just got hit in the face with a little bit of space radiation. Status report. The repair crew made it inside. EPS flow is back to nominal levels. The SIF is back up. How does this affect mission readiness, Mr. Ermat? The Resolute suffered damage from the exploding bolts, but we've successfully moored to the station. The ship is secure. Our systems are coming back online, but we have a fair amount of repairs before we're ready to go. Put a halt on the roll off of Starbase engineering staff. We have a schedule to keep. Send updates to my ready room. Commander Rydek, with me. He looks very distraught. <sighs> what a debacle. I was caught with my pants down. Not even on my own ship when the wave hit. I had to go running out of the Starbase commander's office just to... <sighs> this, uh... <laughs> you followed my order. I appreciate that. Hell, I'm relieved. You're the captain of this ship. You give orders, and I'll execute them. That's right. I knew, see, I knew it was going to happen. You see my problem, don't you? They, they were all against me on that bridge. And they were ready to go against my orders. I'm not blind to it. I don't speak for anyone else. But you know I'm in your corner. You're my captain, and I'll stand behind you. Well, it takes more than the two of us to run this ship, unfortunately. He's not a very good captain. I just I just would like to note that. But he is captain. Oh. Drink? No. Thank you. Your predecessor, Commander Sutherland, is missed. But for all the adoration of the crew, including the senior staff, I just couldn't rely on him. He would question. Nice. Undermine me in front of the crew. I sometimes think they still hear his voice. That sort of thing is a way of lingering. And you can't argue with a ghost. Captain, perhaps you and the crew would be better served if you look at this mission as a fresh start. You can never really leave the past behind. If we don't, you can never move forward. Now, this won't be easy, but I'm glad I have you here with me. Glad to be here, Captain. And despite it all, we've got our final Starfleet clearance to depart. So if you'll fetch Mr. Ermot. We'll knock out the final details of any outstanding repairs, and then we'll set out for Hotari. Yes, sir. Ready or not, here we go. He demands loyalty above all else, just like Zap. What was that? What was that called? All I ask is a tail ship. That's so weird. Description. All departments reporting full mission readiness. We've got our full complement on board. This is my favorite moment right now. 
the start of a new mission is always full of possibility. The Orion Syndicate would sell it as a drug. His face looks weird. I'll let the Admiral to hear you say that. He's got a weird smile. Like it's haunting and weird. Captain on the bridge. Sit. Sit, everyone. You all know, I'm not big on speeches. We're embarking on the first mission since our refit. Let's make it a good one. Disengage docking clamps. Man, they fixed those. Well, I guess we probably went to a new dock, but I was docking gonna say they released. fixed those quick. But... Rusters ahead, Mr. Handar. How, how many days passed since the ship almost blew up to now? Like, I don't know about you, but I'd be concerned. Like, really concerned that I am going to die on this ship. After that. course for the Hotari system. Prepare to go to Warp 8. Hi, Captain. Warp 8? You know what? You take this one. Me? Engage. Engage. I did it! I said engage! I did exactly what he said. I took it. Simple, but effective. Yeah, let's sit down. Easy. Thank you. I'm fine. Really, I... Uh, you don't look so good. to get to sick bay go <laughs> my okay. help me get her inside i need my thing does warp take it out of you Well, that was quite a scare. A few minutes more and it would have been one of the shortest tenures on record for a first officer. Is that the engineer that was out on the hull? That storm did a real number on her, but she'll live. Just needs rest. Yes! You should worry we about yourself. We didn't kill yourself. anybody! Your deridium levels got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. This is definitely one of the more memorable first days I can think of. My name is Dr. Aram Duval, Chief Medical Officer. To be honest, I've never met a Kobliad before. You're rare, I know. I was going to say special. Your people's numbers have dwindled, despite Same the Federation's thing. efforts to find a more readily available alternative to the Deridium you need to survive. Yet you joined Starfleet and managed to thrive. I imagine the responsibility must be overwhelming. Maybe even a burden at times. I don't like the attention it brings. Being treated differently than everyone else. But you are different. That's not something you can change. True. But sometimes it makes it even more difficult than it already is. And don't worry, I won't treat you like a science experiment. I just do the science and leave the experiments to Solano. You don't agree with his methods? I don't agree with his definition of acceptable risks. Not when the lives of your crew are at stake. My professional opinion is that the accident took a toll. More than he's willing to admit. He's overstressed, operating in the pressure cooker of his own mind. Which is never a good headspace when the lives of your crew are at stake. 
Oh no. What concerns me is that now he's even further away from the thing he's been chasing his entire career. Breakthrough discovery. The major innovation. Something he can put his name on. But the more the time passes and the further out of reach it gets, the more risk he'll be willing to take. I think after what happened, Captain Solano's learned his lesson. And whatever ambition he once had is on hold for a while. He may say that, but we'll see what happens. I have to admit, I was concerned when I heard what happened on the bridge. You just followed Solano's orders despite having better options in front of you. Did I? Huh. I guess word travels fast around here. It's a small ship. And everyone's curious about the new XO. How was I supposed to know they were better options? Completely stabilized. And I'll spare us both the lecture, but I do huh? think it's my responsibility to remind you, without regular infusions of deridium, you will not live. It's as simple as that. Understood. Why don't and my work here is done? This makes no sense. I. This doesn't make sense. Lieutenant Bedrosian, I came to see if you were okay. We were all pretty worried on the bridge. No one knew what was happening. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. <laughs> That's it's just part of who I am. You don't have to explain to me. I understand. I'm just glad you're okay. You trusted me earlier with the shields, and I appreciated that. I want you to know that I have your back. Thank you. She's got, a, she's got a ring that can tell her when she needs it, yet for whatever reason, she doesn't have a, like, something that can just give it to her automatically when she needs it. We're talking about the future here. We, ha we already have that technology now. We literally have that technology. Well, not for this specific thing, but we already have this technology. Complete the diagnostic sequence and this shuttle will be cleared for service. Yes, sir. The storm in the Hotari region will interfere with our transporters. So we need all available shuttlecraft in working order. Excuse me, Commander Chorvac. Petty Officer Maris. I will leave you to your work. What does Petty Officer mean? I stopped by sick bay and saw Nilly. I figured you'd want to know. Did the doc get her fixed up? She's stable. But there's something about the storm's radiation that's making it hard to heal the energy burns. That doesn't sound good. She's toughing it out. Dr. Duval said she'll be back on duty soon, though. Come on. I have to run the final diagnostic. I can't stay long. I've got a long to-do list before we get to Hotari, and things are piling on faster than I can check them off. We're making all our last-minute checks and security, too. Well, nothing's ever 100%. But we'll be good to go. And if you wait until you are ready, it's probably too late. Which is why I didn't want to wait for just the right time. I had a chance to think about this while I was away. Uh, oh! Then you and Nilly almost got killed out of I know what's gonna happen. And I thought it was important that I just come out and tell you. Instead of tiptoeing around it. Or worse. Now, this is just a guess, but... You like me. Is that what this is? How'd you know? Must have been pretty obvious. Which is funny, because... It kind of came out of nowhere for me, at first. And you didn't exactly hide it. I wasn't exactly trying to hide it. But since it's that obvious... We've been really good friends for a long time. I want to see if there's more between us... than... Just being friends. Are you 
you sure about this? They're my feelings. Of course I'm sure. I know what I'm asking. Which is why I'm being direct. I like you, Carter. And I think there could be something more for us. I like you too, Miranda. And I'd like to see where this goes. Why not? Good. It's gonna go badly, but why not? Uncharted territories. I'd call it's, it a chemistry experiment. It's a telltale game. Like, you like know, game. With us. I'm just really glad that you said something. I've seen how you operate. I couldn't wait for you to make the first move. I'm glad too. So it's gonna go badly. So whatever happens next is great with me. Level one diagnostic complete. I have to get back to that to-do list. They're probably looking for me. You can't blame them. I don't think she's actually a co-worker. Like she works here, but I don't think she's <laughs> I don't think she works I'll with me. You. Like, like she works in a different <laughs> department, I guess. I don't know. Approaching the rendezvous point outside Atari space. Helm, bring us out of warp. Dropping to impulse. Holy Ionic cow. interference surging, Captain. Shield integrity holding. We can take it. We are at the correct coordinates to meet the shuttle. Commander Rydeck, find us our diplomat, if you will. Aye, Captain. Let's reduce the noise. Filter out environmental signals. I can manually tune what's left for Federation signal types. What am I supposed to do? Like, what, 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 is, what, what am I supposed to do here? Like, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to get me. Oh, I'm spinning the mouse? Spin the mouse? What, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to rotate the mouse in a circle. Okay. I've located the shuttle. I get it. Opening comms. On screen. Hey. Shuttle to Resolute. Shuttle to Resolute. Debris field. Lost maneuvering. Losing. I can't get it any clearer. It won't get a transporter lock. It's just not happening. Power up the tractor beam. We'll pull them directly into the docking bay. Hey, it's this guy. Diaz, you good to run the tractor emitter? Yes, sir. Come on, Diaz. First thing, lock onto the shuttle and stabilize the rotation. Stabilize the rotation. Nailed it. We're pulling in debris. I'm on it. This one, deflect it. All right, deflect this too. Ah, no, down. Ah. There, I did it. That's gonna take out the shuttle. Theus, the bridge. There's a large piece of debris headed for the shuttle. The tractor beam can't handle it. Can our shields take it? I believe so. Commander Ryder, plot an intercept course. On it. <laughs> hey, I did. I did. Now what?
Oh, I see. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Wow. Here we go. Maneuvering thrusters bearing 53 Mark 17. 200 meters on an intercept course. Maneuvering. This is so ridiculous. Got it. Whoa. Someone's working hard on the bridge. Take it, you stupid asteroid. Shuttlecraft on board. Good job. We're on our way down to meet them. He looks pretty proud of himself. Terra firma, so to speak. Ambassador Spock. Captain, we'll be right down to meet you, sir. In that case, I will wait for him here. Yes, Sky. <laughs> Can I quietly? That that was a bumpy ride. Are you all right, sir? There are some elements of space travel that I would prefer to have left in my youth. But I am, at present, unharmed by the ordeal. It appears I have you to thank for my safe arrival. Your assistance arrived not a moment too soon, if I may say so. Well, it wasn't all me. I got some help from upstairs. A bombastic approach to clearing debris. We thought we were prepared for our arrival in Hotari space. But it is evident my craft was not sufficiently robust for such intense ionic activity. The storm has been pretty intense. There was an element that was most unusual. Before you came to our aid, our maneuvering thrusters and impulse engines were rendered inoperable. So we attempted a short traversal at warp speed, only to find that we could not achieve warp at all. Even though our diagnostics computer showed no faults or anomalies. What do you make of that? Well, all indications say that warp speed is possible, but in practice, we find it is not. I'd rather investigate than speculate. A sound principle. Yeah. Take readings, run some additional diagnostic checks, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Quite logical, Petty Officer. Uh... Carter Diaz. Sir. Thank you. Ambassador Spock. Excuse me. I'm honored to have you aboard. I'd like to get right to it. We're already behind. We were logical.